Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will learn how to publish a custom Helm chart using GitHub Actions and turn it into a self-hosted Helm chart repository. If you ever created a custom Helm chart for your applications, you know that you need a centralized location to store and access them. So instead of manually managing the charts for every microservices, you can publish them on GitHub pages and access them via a proper repository URL. So in my previous video, we manually created a custom Helm chart for a Spring Boot microservice and use that for the deployment. But what if you have multiple microservices that need to consume the same Helm chart? Managing them manually can be a hassle. So in this video, I will walk you through how to publish a Helm chart on GitHub pages using GitHub Actions and making your Helm chart reusable and easily accessible across your projects. So here you can see that I have created this uh, Spring Boot Helm chart repositories and where I have created a custom Helm chart for a Spring Boot. So basically first to create all those templates, you can just run Helm create Spring Boot. It will create this base similarly in this structure and then you can do the modification as needed. So this is your Helm chart basically and then you can do the modifications like deployment, ingress, anything that you need like adding more parameters, removing anything, adding more Kubernetes resources, all options are there. That Helm create command just give you the base and after that you can actually modify it as per your requirement. And this is the power of custom Helm charts. Like you can start with base template and modify it as required. So for organizations, when you are managing multiple applications, you might have different different Helm charts also for your different services. So for that, you can actually create a multiple folders there. And then this particular repository will make sure to create the releases or create the Helm chart repo for all of them as per what is written in the code. So for now, we are just considering one, which is Spring Boot. So how does that work? So before we go into more details, let's just let's just go how the GitHub workflow will work. So in this helmchart.yaml file, first it is getting triggered on push branch and even manually also. And you can change it as per your requirement. And this is the configurations like it just giving you the permissions and runs on where you are providing your runner and it's taking the simple checkout and configure git this is required so that to push the updated helm chart and this is we are using the official helm action and this process basically automate of turning your repository into a self-hosted helm chart repository using github pages so like if i go to this particular helm chart so let's just go there and this is the official one and here you can see all the prerequisites, right like how your github report needs to be designed or structured and github branch right before you run that workflow make sure that you have created the gh pages manually because by default it uses this branch if you ever want to change it you have option to change it so here you can see when you are providing the inputs you can provide all these inputs here and here you can see pages branch, name of the branch to used, default to GH pages, but if not, you can change it. So this particular repositories or this particular documentation will provide you what all things you can provide as an input and what all options you have. And here you can see in the example workflow, we are almost using the similar one without any modifications. And this is how it works turn your GitHub projects into a self-hosted Helm chart repo. So now let's go to my repository. And one thing that I wanted to tell you, whenever you are making any updates, you need to make sure that you update this version. 
if you are not updating this version then it will say that it already exists because it always uses this version to create a new uh, release artifacts or basically new tag so here i can show you how does it look like so basically it creates these three tags based on these versions so you need to make sure that you always update that so just an example i wanted to show you i recently just updated the readme file and here you can see it says nothing to do no chart changes detected because it is using the same version so you need to make sure that you do that as well so if you ever have to make any changes to the template just make the changes and make sure you update the chart.yaml file and i wanted to show you like this is where i updated the chart.yaml and how does it look like so here you can see it does everything processing packaging chart successfully and everything good right this is how it looks like and this particular workflow will automatically put uh, automatically run the gh pages build process also which actually deploy your changes here so here you can see deploy to github pages like this so now if you go to your gh pages you will see that it has created this index.yaml file and which actually contains all of your helm chart details like version created description type and the urls also and this url is basically goes to the tag that was created in an automated way so here you can see all the three versions of your helm charts are present in this index.yaml file and when you run this github actions it created the tags also and here you can see that three tags are created that you that are ready to use you can use it so now you have learned how to create a custom helm chart and make them available so that we can use it while deploying an eks cluster so how we will do that so one thing when you create this uh, gh pages here you can see this is how it looks like also and visit site so this is basically turning your github repositories into a self hosted helm chart repo so now to use it what you have to do you have to use this url so this is your repositories so now we will add this repository so for that the command is helm repo add my repo and here you will provide this url so here you can see my repo has been added to your repositories and then you can do helm repo update so that it will take everything so currently it has already taken all the update from my, from my repo chart and now we wanted to see right so helm search repo so here you can see that it is fetching my latest version of my helm chart and now you can use these using terraform also so but this is how you publish it and then you can use it now in my next video i will show you the exact process how you can actually automate this using terraform and deploy your microservices on eks cluster thank you